we got the stove going piping hot now. You can see that it's a little red up there. Now we have a problem of a, uh, a brazen raccoon that keeps coming around. Hey guys, it's uh, Camp Canuck here, out on a, uh, another hot tent uh, winter camping trip. Uh, me and the dog are here so far, and my uh, nephew is going to be here later. But uh, we're losing light, so I have to get moving and get the tent set up and get the fire going. Make the dog happy. We're getting there, girl. We'll have the fire going soon enough. Don't you worry. So, we're getting there. I got the um, stove out now. I'm getting the, the pipes connected. I gotta get uh, the guy lines connected to the spark arrestor at the top so I can uh, get it all nice and steady. And then we'll get it all lined up and um, get ready to start the fire. The uh, the dog's all ready, so I put out a wool blanket for her for now. It's uh, maybe minus five, minus seven right now, but hopefully uh, we're up and running soon. So it's about uh, 5.30 right now, and uh, Thomas just got here. He had to work today, so he got off work and uh, drove all the way to our uh, little spot here. Um, I still don't have the fire going. Um, just ran out of time and light, but Thomas brought a uh, buddy heater, so we're in the tent now, warming up. We're chilled, the wind was strong. So we have all of our stuff in here. We're just uh, gonna sort everything out, and get the fire going, and get some uh, steaks on. The dog got pretty cold too, didn't you go? It's getting warm near with this little buddy he did though. Cheers. So it's about, what time do you think it is? Oh, you know what time. 7.52. It's about 7.52. Uh, we've had the stove going now for a couple hours. Uh, we're just uh, relaxing for a bit. We've kind of tied, tidied up the uh, tent a bit. Um, having a wee bevy. It's, uh, what's the temperature outside? According to this, negative 6.5 celsius uh, with the wind chill it's 13 negative 13.1 okay uh, for you americans it's 20 degrees fahrenheit so it's it's chilly one outside and we think it's about 20 
before. Well, let's look at your phone here in a sec. We got the stove going piping hot now. You can see that it's a little red up there. But we're snug as a bug in here. 25 degrees Celsius. In Let's there. see. 20, almost 25 degrees in here now. So, and that's just uh, at this level, probably uh, towards the top of the tent. We're looking at uh, tropical temperatures. <laughs> We're gonna put some steaks on in a bit. I don't know if you can see the dog. Got a late. And uh, we have Vecca over here. Uh, she's on the, um, the the cot. She's done for the night. She just had some dinner. So she's warm and toasty. She was getting cold out in the wind. She's just a boxer girl. She wasn't built for this. She's a summer canoe tripping dog. Here's the light, man. <laughs> and see. Well, we just finished uh, dinner, but now we have a problem of a uh, a brazen raccoon that keeps coming around. He's uh, I don't know how to describe it. He's coming around the whole tent trying to get in. Right here. There he is. That's great. There's my switch. We have a dog with us, but uh, that doesn't scare it, and the sound of us humans doesn't scare it. Jeez, uh, it three, four times now. Listen, back. listen. It's uh, morning, day two. We, uh, it's about eight o'clock, we're just getting up now. Uh, slept okay, it got a little cold, I think, tonight. Um, I'm, I'm gonna use a thermo rest on the uh, cot. Um, yeah, I got a little chilly, but aside from that, it was a pretty good sleep. Pretty good sleep. We survived uh, the onslaught of the raccoon. <laughs> I don't know if he kept coming or not, we just eventually fell asleep, so. For now, we're gonna have a coffee and uh, get ready for the day. Go get some wood, have some breakfast. Should be a good day. Do you want your breakfast? Do you want your breakfast? Let's go. Go get your breakfast. So on this trip, uh, I brought my uh, 
power bank. It's a Blue Eddy EB55. Um, weight isn't really a concern. We have a, a short walk from the uh, parking area to get in here, so we're able to bring whatever we want. And, uh, and I brought this for our uh, energy needs, which means I was able to bring a coffee grinder. So we're having fancy coffee today. Thomas, what are you doing? Get a couple of layers off. You got the meat sweats. Meat fat sweats. Uh, scrambled eggs. Scrambled in uh, fat from steak and other stuff. And we have uh, breakfast sausage. How is it? Really good. Prove it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Christ. All right, we're out on our first hot tent uh, camping trip of the season, and I thought I'd do a tour of our uh, setup for this trip. Uh, I'll start, well, first of all, we're in a, a Pomali Manta tent. It's, um, it's I think, uh, four, four to six people. It's space, it's very spacious. It's, I don't know if it shows up on the camera or not, but there's lots of room in here lots of room okay first I'll uh, show the stove this is a Dantchel uh, 304 stainless steel stove this is the first time I've used it uh, on a trip um, so far we like it it's uh, kicking off the heat that's for sure but one thing we don't care for is the plate on the top it uh, warps a bit but aside from that it seems to be functioning really good it's got good draw uh, we got our uh, wood processed over here we brought some water with us. This is our uh, kitchen area. And I uh, also have a, uh, a a power station I brought. So we're able to use like a coffee grinder and charge our phones and all the devices and things like that. Uh, that's a Blue Eddy EB55 power station. I'll leave a link for that as well. And we brought a um, Buddy portable. Little Buddy. Little Buddy. <clears throat> portable heater uh, it was nice to have them we were getting the stove set up yesterday it was really chilly here with the uh, wind so it's nice to have that even at night we let the fire go out and we'll use that uh, what else do we have here oh on the floor uh, we have the um, Pomali inner tent for the for the Manta but uh, it's upside down so I just use it as a floor for, for this trip first time I've done that but it works out really well 
and on top of that we have some wool blankets so we don't have to wear our, our shoes inside and keep our toes nice and dry uh, what else do we have oh this is a cot i'm using a cot thomas is just sleeping on the thermo rest on the ground so he's not set up for sleeping yet but this is a flam rose camping cot i believe it's called um it's boxer approved and uh i have a mech old mech uh, minus seven degree bag which is probably not minus seven anymore but i also have a fleece liner i use with that uh what else do we have oh got some light reading here um anything else that we have in here they're uh the chairs we're using are helinox chairs they're lightweight i've been ha i've had them for years now as you can see so it's uh, almost two o'clock and we're just gonna have some late lunch we're having uh some uh, ramen, some chicken curry ramen. Uh, we just fi finished uh, cleaning up the tent a bit and uh, we're out collecting wood. Uh, that's what we've been doing so far today. Now it's, it's really windy out, so we're just uh, staying in the tent for a while, hunkering down, waiting for the wind to die. And then after that, probably go get some more wood and uh, start making dinner we're having a nice uh we're gonna make a beef stew should be good thomas what's on the menu beef stew what's all in it steamed beef obviously got some uh, potatoes Red onion, carrot, celery, a bunch of different spices, garlic, salt, pepper. Red wine. Oh, and red wine reduction. Mm-hmm. A couple hours, we're going to be eating like kings. Was it? Mm-hmm. 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 Classic Thomas. We finished dinner. It's probably close to eight o'clock now. Uh, we're just sitting in the tent, chilling, but not chilling. We're actually quite hot. We're uh, we got the hockey game on over here. Uh, got the fire going. Got some wood processed. We're all ready for the night. But Matthews goes over to say something to him as he's heading to the penalty box. And there was no call on the hit Wallstrom on Matthews. The officials are huddling in front of the penalty box right now. But I don't know if there are going to be any penalties on it. This looked to me like it was me on... 7.30, we just got up. Uh, I had a pretty okay sleep. I got cold again. The dog kept pulling my sleeping bag off so she can get... She was sleeping on the floor next to uh, Thomas, so she's pulling the sleeping bag down trying to get warm, but besides that, it was a good sleep. We went to bed around 10, I think. We got up around 7.30, so it was a good night's sleep. Now we're going to get some coffee going and uh, breakfast and then clean up and hit the old dusty trail. Smoking pretty good. Did you? Yeah. Hmm? You don't know.
I'm not smoking so much on the top now. Yes. Put a light on it. There you go, that's good. Yeah, so this is our issue with the the stove with the having the uh, removable uh, top plate. It's so you can have direct heating, but I don't know if we'd ever need it. But now, now you can see the smoke's coming out the top. It's a big piece of wood in there too, and uh, but still, that's not ideal. So yeah, we'll have to figure something out for that. Yeah, we got a smoky fire in there. We're we're debating if it's less about the plate and more about the pine we have in there. Um, it might just be that, or maybe the chimney needed uh, cleaning before we fired it up today. Um, we're gonna take it all down soon, so I'll have a look at the chimney and see if that if it's just a build up of creosote in there. It, it's not drawing as well, maybe. Or, uh, yeah, it's really smoky in there. So, we had to open up uh, top of the tent, get some of the smoke out. Anyway, we'll figure it out. I do a, just a quick little video showing how uh, I have the pipe in spark arrestor secured. I have um, carabiners attached to the spark arrestor and then I have it uh, guide out three times out to the ground. I'll show you the tension. So it's this type of tensioning system. I'll leave a link in the description, but that that works out really well. So we're packing up, getting ready to leave, and uh, we found the problem of the smoke. It was the spark arrestor. It's completely clogged with ash. Like you can't see any light coming through it anywhere. So yeah, that's a problem. Um, I don't know what the solution would be. I guess you have to take it down every day and clean it. We never had this happen before, so. Yep. Problem solved. If you have a good solution, let me know in the comments.